This case serves as a follow-up for a CTPE study with a very high PE burden with signs of elevated right heart pressures, which ultimately for um, the stability of the patient required uh, interventional radiology intervention, which is actually the study going over here. Um, what we have is we have um, our, our angio sine clips here where we have a catheter that's actually in the main pulmonary artery and then as we do our contrast injection we can get kind of a sense of what's going on so i think it's helpful to get a sense of kind of what things look like on our on our ir study mainly you know this patient has very high pe burden especially on the left um, they actually have very central clot that goes through all the low bar and segmental and sub segmental arteries on the left and we can see very poor opacification of the pulmonary arterial tree with filling defects all the way to the left pulmonary artery. And then similar but not as bad on the right, we have filling defects of arteries that are going to the right upper lobe. Um, and then if we get it in the right phase, we can also see that there's probably some defects here of a you know the low bar artery going to the left uh, to the right lower lobe. So we have multiple filling defects here as well too. Um, so that's important to keep in mind. For, for this particular case, however, they did not do a thrombectomy, but rather put catheters down uh, both on the left and the right um, in the, the pulmonary arteries to do catheter-directed thrombolysis. And this was kind of how this patient was managed. So um, putting those catheters in place just so the thrombolytic can be given more directly to the pulmonary arterial system.